Hey guys, I'm back. Draconic. Pokemon Coliseum part... whatever. I don't know. It's actually been a wee while since I've uh, played this game. Um, due to the fact of having a uh, sore throat, so sadly I wasn't able to record my voice too well. Anyway, it's good to be back into uh, Pokemon Coliseum. Um, over that time, I've uh, um, upgraded my team a wee bit between uh, Espeon and Umbreon. I've um, got their levels up by uh, quite a wee bit just to um, just because I got really that bored and I wanted to play this again, but I just had the sore throat. I've still got it now, but hopefully it's not going to be much of uh, an effect in this Let's Play part. Anyway, Espeon managed to get a brand new move, uh, Swift, which I'm thinking maybe might have been a bad idea because helping helping hand was the uh, the move that I replaced. It could have been helpful in future, but. I'm not too sure. I don't know if it was a good move, but let's hope it is in, in some time in the future. As for Umbreon, doing the best it can, still getting those stats up. And speaking of uh, Pokemon team, Quilava, uh, heart gauge is down to nil, so it's still a shadow, but there is um, there is a way to uh, uh, undo the shadow formness thing. I don't know what it is. Um, <coughs> but that comes in later in the uh, in the game. As for these three, um, they're the uh, the team that I'm choosing for now. Um, I'm not going to use these three for the future, but they're just going to be there just in case uh, these three guys um, just, uh, go down. Unfortunately. Anyway, on to the let's play. We have gotten a Colosseum challenge to do, but um, before we do that, we're going to have to go and pick up a gear for to replace that. Uh, replace to fix up that windmill um, to get the power back on and um, before we do that I'm just going to go and buy some uh, pokeballs I should have prepared for this let's play um, but um, hey ho oh there's that guy I wonder if he wants to battle again but um, never mind I really don't um, I really don't want to battle that guy um, just now Something by um. Anyway, let's see um. Let's see what we can get. I would like to restock on a couple of these. So let's get an awakening. Um, get some more great balls. Great balls have been uh, not too bad. I think I've only had. You know, I think I've only used three of them. I think the pokeballs are. Uh, they've been doing not too bad. I'm thinking um. You know what? I'm just gonna buy. This is the last stock of uh, Pokeballs I think I'm gonna buy after that. Hi, right, Premier Ball, sweet. After that, I think I'll be going into uh, Great Balls. Um, I think that's gonna do it. And I think we're uh, ready to um, go and get that gear, get to the uh, the Coliseum for the challenge. Yeah, I'm gonna to need to cut that whole series of coughing out. Coughing. Anyway, this is the gear up here. Um, the gear that we need for the uh, for the windmill. Um, the gear that um. God damn, I can't remember what his name was. It was either Silva or Dukin. No, Dukin's the big guy, and Silva's the uh, that uh, Dukin's best friend or something like that. I think. Um. Anyway. Let's get going into the Coliseum for our uh, our first Coliseum battle, I believe. Um, that'll be good. See what the uh, see what the team can do. Um, Jeez, oh, I'm really not feeling too good, but I just want to play this anyway. Anyway, it's these guys. Hey, sweet. God damn it! This is gonna be cool because I've got a sore throat. I can put this guy's voice on much more better. Terribly sorry, Chief. You sure you're okay? God damn it! That actually sounded pretty good. I don't know. Hey, yeah, Bob Vine. There's no need for all the worrying. Good. That's good. But Silver, this is an outrage. No, no. I reckon he agonized over this and did it because he thought it right. I can't blame the man for that. Enough about that, Dukin. Instead, I think you should look over there. What? You people? Jeez, oh. Hey, hey. 
I reckon you might be saying thanks. Duking? Oh, well, Duking doesn't say thanks a lot, well... Uh, that's the gear! You found it for us! What amazing look! I'll ask you to excuse me for my behavior earlier. You seem to be people who are worthy of trust. You have my sincere thanks. Wow, I can't wait to hear that in the audio. Um, all right, I'll get you. I'll get you to slot that gear snugly back in that gap where it belongs. All right, so uh, what's over here? One of the gears is missing. Well, no bleep. There we go. Gear. All right, and there it is. All done. Stand by. Let it roll. Oh, 30 long years of cranky gears. Oh, yeah. Is that a song? It is, because it says there's a musical note there. You spin me right round. All right. This is the way it ought to be. Things are fine now. That mirror bee is a bad parasite. If only someone stumped that pest. Well, that will probably be me. Ugh. I can tell that you're a man of courage and honor. I have a favor to ask. Will you hear me out? Yeah, I'll hear you out. I'm grateful. I want you to enter the next Coliseum battle. I need you to win knockout challenge and find out what is going on there. I can't tell from a glance that you're no ordinary trainer. I know you can win. I'm sorry, but help me. Jeez, all. For a big tough guy and he's asking me for help, well Alright. Hey Ruby, what's up? What's this guy doing? I don't know. Thank you. The power should be restored at the Coliseum now. Alright. <coughs> well time for me, Ruby, Umbreon, Espeon, and Koalava to go in for our first Coliseum battle, I believe. Um first of many, actually. The idea is to do all of them as well. So snag them all. Do all the Coliseums, purify them all, I, I don't, and you guys are not going to see me cure, purify them, I can say that. But, um, let's get the, uh, the team sorted. I'm thinking, I'm thinking having Umbreon set this one out and having Koalava in there. Um, Umbreon's done a really good job so far, but I want Espeon and Koalava to play a wee bit of catch-up. I know Koalava doesn't uh, level up, but, um... Well, you won't level up until um, after he's been uh, purified. That's the word, purified. Welcome to the Pyrite Coliseum. Would you like to join the knockout challenge? Yeah. Will you be entering with the Pokemon that you have in your party now? Yes. Give it your best and aim for victory. Alright, here we go. Coliseum battle number one. Well, that's exactly what it says on the screen. Pirate Coliseum Battle 1. Here we go. Alright guys, here we go. Let's see what our team can do. It's not going to be easy to get a winning streak going. Well, it is, it's not going to be easy for you, but for me, yeah, it seems to be pretty easy. Alright. A Barboach and a Sandshrew. Um... Well, lava could be at a bit of a disadvantage. Um, Espeon, I'm thinking, I'm trying to figure out which one would be the biggest threat. I would say, and I'm not being funny, I would say Barbage is the uh, biggest threat because Barbage can learn Earthquake, I think, because it does go into a Whiskash. Um, oh no, Earthquake will affect it. Thank goodness I remember that. I'm gonna have to shadow rush Barbage and try and get it out of the way. Alright. Okay, nearly. Alright, Quilava, shadow rush it. Alright. Hit with a recoil, it's okay. Alright. That'll hopefully stop the. Uh, I didn't want to take a risk in case it did have Earthquake. And Sanctuary's gonna use Scratch. That's the one thing you gotta watch out for the unexpected in some of these, um, in some of these uh, basic leveled uh, Pokemon. 
I don't. Th I know they're about level thirty and all that, but still, it is a uh, still pretty early on in the game. I don't think they would make it too difficult. I don't know. Hey, battle one done. Done, done. Hawks is defeated. You still got a long, long way to go in the Pyrite Coliseum. Well, there's about uh, four or five battles in a Coliseum challenge. I think it's like the first few and then a champion round or a semi finals round, I'm not too sure. Semi finals and final rounds, I think. I think, I don't know. You planning to win it all? You know that's impossible. Alright. Here we go. Natu and Meditate. This is getting interesting. Alright. Espion will deal with uh, Meditate, I think. But. They are both psychic types. Um. I'm taking a risk on. You know, I think Confusion might knock him out. I'm gonna use Flame Wheel on Nato. Nah, I thought not. Because Meditate is a, uh, a fighting and a psychic type. So. Now that I think about it, apart from its evolved form, it's the only fighting and psychic Pokemon that I'm aware of. I don't know if there's any new ones in like uh, gen, uh, the sixth gen generation. What was that? Was that hidden power? My team's hanging in there. My team's doing really good. Um, I think we'll just wrap this one up. Same attacks. I've got to say, Koala's doing a really good job just now. Sorry, meditate. Go and meditate back in your Pokeball. Alright, cool lava, finish up. A nice wee flame wheel in that NATO. So far, no shadow Pokemon. I'm, uh. You might save it for the last rounds, but. Might not have shadow Pokemon, I'm not too sure, actually. Because I don't know, uh. If there was a shadow Pokemon, I would remember it, I think. Well, well, I'll find out in the finals with the, um, after a couple more. Oh, semi-finals. Sweet. Alright. Here we go. It's the guy with the bandana. Trying to score an awesome Pokemon, aren't you? It's not going to be easy. Vilch would like to battle. Electric and Cacnea. Getting a wee bit serious. Um, this guy's got three of them. What am I doing? Koalava can take out Kakania, no bother. He's just flame wheel against them. Whoa. Electric actually looks pretty cool. And it's fast, but. Not strong. Awesome music, by the way, in this battle. Probably the best music I've heard so far, I'm saying, from this. Uh, I don't know. Where was it? Vulpix. Okay. Vulpix. Um, shouldn't be too much of a bother. Whoa, critical and Cacnea. Uh, Cacnea spins and down. Espion's up at 33. Sweet. No new move. Right. Um, I'll use Shadow Rush to finish that up. That was a quick attack. Well, this guy's actually got some quick ones, I'd say. Or it could just be the quick attack move. <laughs> I don't know. Right, Volpix took some damage. Alright. And there goes Vulpix. So, team's done really good. I mean, very simple battles. I'm surprised. Um, yeah, you, maybe you do have what it takes to handle that awesome Pokemon. 
Well, I do. That's it. End of. Is this the final? Yeah, there we go. Finals. Now, who are we up against? Jesus. If you can't beat me, Master Mirror B, you can... What? I couldn't catch up with uh, what he was saying. Look at his chin. Jeez, oh. Whoa, big on. Which is the... Basic form uh, of the uh, go it goes into can't mind what it's uh, second for uh, sorry can't mind what Bagan's first evolution is to but his second one is to Salamence which is awesome but I don't know the uh, best method you can use dig on Bagon. Gonna have a wee different tactic for this battle. Goldine's hanging in there. Alright. Yes, Spion's hanging in there as well. Rage, not good. I think I don't know how rage works. It's like the more you attack Bagon while it's used rage, the stronger the rage gets. Um if that's the case, I want to take out Bagon right now. So I hope it's a one hit. It is a one hit, sweet. Alright, that means whatever this guy sends out, Koala is going to get him. Maybe not, actually. Because Magnemite might have. Oh, is it going to attack him? Whoa! Did not expect that. I thought Magnemite had the. Uh, that levitate ability. Um, well, this guy's. Well, it's a deli bird. It's a level 34 deli bird. That might be. Oh, I mean, you swift. Could be helpful. And I think deli bird is a ice. I just get the feeling that deli bird is an ice type. Swift. Not much on Daily Bird. Not, e not even Goldeen was knocked out. Ooh, critical and super. So, it must have been a nice type. <clears throat> Which is weird, I would say. Oh no, that's not good. Surf is not good. It's beyond hanging in there. Oh no, 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 no. Lava's hanging in there really good. Alright. Swift will do it. That'll finish it up. Alright, Goldine is out of here. Now it just rolls upside down. Sorry, big guy. I just won the battle. In fact, better yet, I just won this competition. Alright. Good things may be in store for me. Well, yeah. Quite a lot of good things, I'd say. Alright, so, um... Yeah. I'm the champion. Yes, I am. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Cash prize. Seriously? I'll take it. And a TM06. What's that? What does TM06 do? Alright, well... There we go. So you really went and won it all. It'll be my turn next. Well, there's my team. Team's all healed up. Quilava's done a good job. Espeon done a good job. Umbreon, sorry I left you out, but, um, well, I'll get you in into the next, uh, into the next Coliseum battle. That's a guarantee. Um, anyway, I think we go outside and there's, like, somebody waiting for me. I think, um, First of all, what does the um, TM06 do? Toxic, that's alright. Um, I might use it in the future sometime. Um, need to wait and see about that one. Um, anyway, I'm just going to save my uh, 
I'm just gonna say my records here, and I'll um, <coughs> jeez, my throat's killing me. I'll um probably save it. I don't know if I'll do another episode instantly. I don't know. We'll see how the audio turns out. Although I did probably a very good voice and uh, voice impression of that uh, Dukin guy. Um, need to wait to see how the uh, the audio looks. Anyway, I'm saved. I'm ready for the next part. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, first day, uh, first Coliseum battle is a victory. Um, so I guess I'll see you guys for the next part.